Hi there friends, uh, Jacob from Children of Film here and this is day one of the Adelaide Film Festival vlog. Uh, I just saw my first movie for the week which was Scotty and the Secret History of Hollywood. Uh, it's about Scotty Bowers, uh, a dude who basically used to be a sexual procurer for old closeted stars back in the day. Basically helped people have gay sex. Ah, oh, nice. It was fun, yeah. Uh, so it was alright, like it's a little meandering. Um, not like it, it was it was enjoyable uh this is my friend cameron we're about to go see bad times at the el royale it's not not a part of the festival but i figured i'd throw it in here uh are you excited oh, yeah, i am pumped apparently chris hemsworth is like shirtless the entire oh, movie oh hell yes yeah get keen so uh, anyway uh there's gonna be a lot of characters popping up in these videos and the boys are reuniting jaren's eta about five days and we're gonna see a bunch of shit Hello there, you are here with Jacob from Children of Film and Lockie, friend of the podcast, cult hero of the podcast, Lockie Skinner. He's that dude in the Kylo Ren outfit from that last video we uploaded. Wow. Um, and without the hair. <laughs> so yeah, quick update. I saw Bad Times at the El Royale last night. Absolutely loved it. Lewis Pullman is incredible. I, I still need to see that film. It's I've, great. He's a revelation, man. As Chris Hemsworth is a uh, six pack. Oh, uh, it's great. He's actually not, not in it a lot, but he was really good in it. story of a man that you know helped a woman that was hit by a car and he took off his turban to you know stop her wound from bleeding out and I just thought that was really fascinating because essentially this um this hotel is like a, a microcosm of India and that's what fascinated me like there was there was attacks all over the city at that time you know there was a synagogue there was a train station all sorts of areas but you know the, the idea of it taking place in this hotel Mumbai this Taj hotel you have the poor at the bottom uh, you know, and they wear these magical cloaks, you know, they come from the slums and they put on these uniforms that allows them to, you know, stand next to these Russian billionaires that descend from their yachts. And it's, it's fascinating, you know, that kind of collision of uh, rich and poor. Um, I just saw Hotel Mumbai with a live Q&A with Sadly, Dev Patel. Sadly I missed it due to later, uh, later arrival. Yeah, we had Dev Patel, the director Anthony Maris, his first time film, did a really good job. The oh. film was excellent, it was so intense. And uh, who else do we have? Tilda Cobham Hervey, another actress, and some of the writers and everything. And we both managed to snag pictures with Dev Patel. And, you know, I, I spotted him first. Congratulate him. Lockie praised his accent from Lion. I got to congratulate him on Hotel Mumbai. It was awesome. Uh, so next up, we're seeing Arctic, which is a movie about Mads Mikkelsen stuck in the snow. Uh, we're waiting on Blake, another friend of the podcast. He may not the make it. His train's running late. Yeah, not getting but it is time. great to see this guy. Um, my hand's still shaking. One because the movie was intense. Two because just, I love Dev Patel. Well. <laughs> Hey guys, we just saw Arctic at the Adelaide Film Festival. We caught up with Blake. Thank he you. made it to the screening with about one minute to spare. Yeah, but, no, one second um, to spare before they fucking public yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> two friends of the podcast here together. It's been great to catch up. Um, what did we think of Arctic? It was good. It was uh, 127 good. hours in the snow. Good. No, at very times, good. Yeah. It was. It was great. It yeah. was so. In it starts slow and there's very little dialogue and. Um, yeah, it's basically just him trying to survive in the snow. He finds um, someone, I won't say how or why, but it's sort of him trying to keep them alive and stuff and survival. And it's very realistic. Like yeah, it the was. dude knows what he's doing. Um, yeah. Basic it, uh, survival it, skills. It, it sneaks up on you. It gets to it gets to you in the end, and it's actually um, you, you're really Quite powerful you're end, really yeah. pulling for this guy to make it. Yeah, probably the best film with the least amount of character development. Yeah. <laughs> like you know nothing about him, but you're like, I, I hope I know this guy he's a pilot, it. and I know yeah. he's a yeah. bloody legend. Well, it, so uh, yeah, that's Arctic. Um, that's it for day two. That was the third film we've seen at the festival so far. And uh, shit gets real tomorrow. We're seeing I Am Mother, The Old Man and the Gun, and Roma. I'm so excited Roma. Roma to get to see it on the big screen and Netflix released. Apparently it's amazing looking. Yeah, get keen boys. It's got, it's got, a, big, it's got a big aroma around it. Yeah, hey, shut up, Blake. Hey guys, we are here for day three of the Adelaide Film Festival. Here day with two Lockie. for me. Yep, day two for these blokes. Here with Lockie and Blake. How hey. you going, Blake? Yeah, not too bad. Had a good time. Yeah, I feel a bit left out. The place all right. <laughs> I don't come here very often. Yeah. Sorry. 
uh, we got Lockie uh, in the front seat here because he just bought some Blu-rays. Do you want to see what you got? That's always uh, a fun part of Twelve Monkeys and uh, Duck City. Have you seen them? Not yet. I've First seen time. Twelve Monkeys and I liked it, but I didn't love it. But it's good. But uh, yeah, we are here. We're about to see I Am Mother. It's a sci-fi movie starring Hilary Swank and a giant Did robot. Oscar win it? Yeah. Well, do you know what it's about? Or? I know um, there's a robot. No. <laughs> like, all I know is there's a robot. I know they recently announced Rose Byrne as the voice of the robot. Rose Byrne? Really? She's on the IMDb. Yeah, right, that's pretty oh, cool. Oh, fuck that. No, at least yeah. we get an Aussie voice. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're about to watch that, and it's a work in progress screening, so the movie's not done yet. I don't know when it'll come out. But, we're probably uh, going to get embargoed. I think it's a bit of a Q&A with some of the crew and stuff. You excited, Mike? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Hey guys, we just saw I Am Mother. Uh, I know shitty camera angles here, we're just finding spots to film where we can, hanging out in between movies. Um, so yeah, um, it was a work in progress, it was sort of this dystopian future, there's been some sort of extinction event, we don't really know what it is. And there's a robot and a girl who was raised by the robot and then Hilary Swank, and can we trust the robot? Is she truly trying to save humanity or is she evil? Uh, for the film that's uh, said to be unfinished, it's, it looks pretty top notch, it looks pretty clean. There, there is a couple shots in the film, like mainly in the background, where it looks a bit fake. Like, oh, it's more, a tad bit more CGI work to get the when background When they're right. outside, the, con Some of the, the sets screen. are great. They filmed it here at Adelaide Studios, but um, the uh, when they get outside, it does look a little... Yeah, like a little bit, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm keen to see the finished product. Yeah, yeah. they said it's going to be coming out in but 2019. But aside from that, as for the film, the, this movie was right up my alley, so I, I really enjoyed it. I love it science a fiction lot. and yeah. realistic ones that are always uh, in my alley. So. Yeah, I really liked it too. I found it a little boring and. Um, yeah, it was, it was immediately slow for uh, two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> it, <was> did, it? <laughs> it did feel a bit longer than it was, so um, I'm a little lukewarm on it, but I did like it and I'll be interested in seeing it. I think once the, the final product. edit's done, I reckon it'll be a bit more brisker. And yeah, if they can yeah, tighten it up a bit, yeah, it'll be better. But the performances are great from yeah, Clara the, Regard. Yeah, the, I think she's gonna, definitely going to blow up in terms of working in, in the acting industry. The more directors are going to have a look at her to go, oh, yeah. all right, she is having a. She has a bright future. Yeah. Let's take advantage now. Next up, we're just waiting around. We are seeing Old Man and the Guns. Robert Redford, the Australian premiere, I believe. Bobby, um, Bobby Redford, big Bobby. Red his supposed last film, but well, we don't even. It's he, not really clear. He, he might not actually retire now. <laughs> hey guys, we just saw Old Man and the Gun. Uh, what did you guys think? Oh, I thought it was really good. It's it's a charming as fuck and really funny. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Like, I, I just read the title and uh, and knowing that Robert Redford's in it. It had an old man and a gun, so you should be satisfied. <laughs> yeah, the title, it delivers on the promise of yeah. the title, but um... Yeah, yeah there is an old man and a gun. Supposedly Redford's last movie, but he was great in it. And David Lowry is just really good at Very like, low-key. Yeah, he's just good at warm low-key filmmaking and not um, because his last name yeah jaron's gonna love it he loved a ghost story it's very much in the same style as those in pete's dragon and uh and then what he's saying robert redford is the most charming old man i've ever seen Dude, yeah, same. that guy is like 74 and he's like more attractive than i am <laughs> <laughs> yeah. even when he's uh, uh, even when he's younger he's uh He's so charming, and yeah, the movie is as charming as its protagonist. But, you could uh, feel the humidity in the yeah. theater. So yeah, we're seeing Roma in a couple of hours. I'm probably the movie I'm most excited for for the festival. Well, he's not, because he's a bitch, and he's like, oh, it'll go to Netflix, so I'm just going to wait for Netflix. <laughs> it will so go to Netflix, like, I'm not wrong. You might be one of the only people in the country to see it on the big screen. Like, it's going to be awesome. Come on, mate. You're, you're such a disgrace to humanity when you do that. Oh, that's, a bit, that's a bit harsh, mate. Come on. <laughs> he's disgracing humanity by not watching Roma. Uh, we just saw Roma, which was uh, bloody amazing. Yeah, it was. It, it, it kind of led to the hype for us. Yeah, Blake, you missed out. Oh, wait, the Netflix. Idiot. It's got to be sound. I mean, sorry it's loud. There's a lot of drunk people around. I'm definitely going to have to think about Roma a bit. Same here. I wasn't vibing with it at first. Yeah, but it, it took like 40, 40 yeah. to 50 minutes yeah, to get, it, get the vibe of it. It really sneaks up on you in a big way. The cinematography. I've been thinking about it for a while. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
so yeah, see it. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, not many people are going to get to see it in the theatre, but watch it on the biggest TV you can when it does hit Netflix. <laughs> yeah. uh, I might even see it again next week with Jaren. Yep. Uh, yeah, so that's it for tonight. It's been a pretty good day. Loggy, what are you doing? <laughs> Tomorrow we are seeing The Nightingale, uh, an Aussie film, and the next film from Jennifer Ken, who made The Babadook. And then we, after that, we'll be seeing Shoplifters, which won the Palm d'Or. We have to do it back to back. Hey, uh, we are here for day four for me. Day oh. three for you? Yeah, yeah, I think three. Yeah. Um, so. We're about to see the Nightingale pretty soon. Uh, just before Blake gets here, we just wanted to talk about Roma a little more because yeah, we had uh, we're, we're reeling afterwards. We didn't really know what our full thoughts were uh, after watching it, but uh, I just think it wasn't necessarily made for me. Um, yeah, probably but it's going to be really important for a lot of people, I think. Mm. Um, and it's a really, really moving picture of um, 1970s in Mexico City, and I'm going to be thinking about it for a while, I reckon. Also, uh, the sound editing is insane. It's so immersive and you just feel like you're there. So we're really lucky to have seen it in a the theatre. Yeah, the cinematography was an instant highlight of the film. Like, it, it, the tracking, the tracking one shots, uh, one take shots are fucking fantastic. Definitely. And so uh, we're just going to wait for Blake to get here and we're going to roast him a bit more for not watching it. <laughs> oh wait for Netflix. Actual scum. Uh, and yeah, Nightingale pretty soon. Congratulations, Blake, you played yourself. Uh, we're gonna get this in real quick before I have to go run for a bus. Yeah, we all uh, have to go. <laughs> uh, the Nightingale was uh, very heavy to watch. There's a lot of talk. I may talk about it more tomorrow because there's a lot I liked, a lot I didn't like. It's basically the Revenant if it was way more heavy. It's a little. Um, it feels a little amateurish at times, and there's some. Especially from especially with front someone had to rent it in the Babadook. Yeah, there's some strange character decisions and some inconsistencies, but on the other hand, it's very, very entertaining. Uh, it's very brutal and dark, and um, yeah. We had a couple of people left uh, the screening uh, during the film. Yeah, there's some. Yeah, there's some harsh stuff, and um, I yeah. I disagree with these guys. I really loved it. So, um, <laughs> it's yeah. a free and a half for me. Like. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to think about it a lot more, I reckon. And then we saw Shoplifters, which it won the Palm d'Or at Cannes, It right? did, yes. And um, so that was... It's definitely more entertaining than... I enjoyed that more than Nightingale. That was great. Uh, a lot of it's like Slice of Life, like Roma, and then... Um, I'm yeah, not gonna, no. It's best going in not knowing anything, actually, because I went yeah. in not knowing anything. Yeah, same here. And, uh, the, I knew a yeah. vague part, but I'm not the yeah. part, no. Um, but it was really, really, really good. Yeah. It's, um, it's heartwarming, but you know, uh, but uh, what, I'm going to talk less about the, the family involved, but... It's heartwarming it's, and heartbreaking. Uh, so yeah, that's what was, that was a pretty good day today. It's, yeah, it's loud here. Uh, I'd better go get a bus, and tomorrow... i got to get something to eat. I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> tomorrow we are seeing One Cut of the Dead, which is a zombie movie. And for that, I'll probably be watching First Man. And probably taking him to see First Man because he hasn't seen it yet. Um, we are here at home, JB Hi-Fi, gonna go look for some movies. He's already bought too many Blu-rays. <laughs> any, any more you got your eye on? Um, probably just uh, anything that, that catches my eye. Yeah, true. Uh, so today we're taking Lockie to see First Man because he hasn't watched it yet. Yeah, I watched as, it. As said in the, in the previous segment. I saw it a, few, uh, on a couple days before it came out. It's awesome. My favourite of the year so far. Damien Chazelle did it again. Uh, It'll be my favourite of the year. Curious knows? to see what this fella thinks. Blake has entered the building. <laughs> Mike's favorite. Um, yeah, two for thirty blueberries. I'm definitely gonna get this. <laughs> <laughs> the emoji movie. This store is the right idea. Hello, uh, we saw First Man a couple of hours ago. Uh, it was mostly for Lockie because we've already seen it. What did you think, Lockie? That means he gave it five stars. <laughs> We're seeing One Cut of the Dead soon. So yeah, it's a Japanese zombie movie. It looks like a lot of fun. And uh, If there's tentacles in the film, I'm out. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm cutting you out of the video, Lockie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? I just uh, need a bag. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then tomorrow, Jaren gets here. We'll be picking him up from the airport. No, you're out. I'm sorry. Hey, you're hey, out. Hey. Uh, Um, we just saw one cut of the dead, which was freaking awesome. One Better than I fought and fun. It's get going. Without saying anything, uh, it's about people shooting a zombie movie, and it opens with a 37-minute unbroken take, and uh, it's mental as all I'll say, and go in not knowing anything else. It's um, better than honestly, the you funniest know. movie I've seen all year. Definitely yeah. a crowd pleaser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone was losing. Hopefully, their the shit. cinemas actually do give it a wide release because yeah. this is definitely going to make a plenty of cash. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, One Cut of the Dead. Jaren gets here tomorrow morning after. Yay, finally Jaren. And then we are uh, seeing Beautiful Boy tomorrow night. So that's it. Timothy. Hi, uh, Jacob here from Children of Film. Uh, you know, I don't know where Jaren is. Um, Bring me Locker! We're back, the we're back fucking together. fucking COF, uh, together in the flesh at last, you Kane, Jaren? Oh, you know I'm fucking Kane, we're gonna go say some fucking Came for a bit movies. of Adelaide Film Festival action, Ooh. came for a bit of Lockie action. Fuck, that's what I'm most came for. Yep. We're seeing Beautiful Boy with Steve Carell, and I'm just came for Lockie, to be seeing honest. that pretty soon. Uh, I need to tell Lockie not to describe the plot, because Jaren knows nothing about the plot, so I'm like, I'm not, let's not um, tell him yep. what it's about. Um, he just knows. Chalamet, Carell, it's gonna be two very hot people. Two extremely hot people. Is that the one you're most keen for, out of everything we're seeing, or? Uh... Uh, I, my most keen one was probably One Shot of the Dead, to be honest, but um, miss it's that. It's fucking but awesome. But right now, it's a Beautiful Boy uh, would be it, yeah. Beautiful Goy. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, it's time to fuck shit up. Yeah, next time you see us, we might be with Lockie. I'm keen. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know where he's going. The bus isn't coming for another ten minutes. There we go. Hi mates. there. Children uh, of Film here again, right yes. before Beautiful Boy. The boys yeah. are together. How are we doing, boys? Yeah, well, the of... Beautiful Boy seeing Beautiful Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's debatable. Probably. Don't have so much as uh, Tiffany and Chad Lee. You guys keen? <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah. Everyone's here for Tim Timothy Chalamet. Uh, everyone's here for Timothy Chalamet, and I'm here for Steve Carell. We're keen. It's fair. Oh, yeah, Can I'll, he I'll, do I'll, it again? Can I think he... it's a thing for Double for me. Can he deliver the best of the festival two years in a row? Call me by your name last year, you never know. Well, Blake I, didn't like it because he's a Funny enough, um, uh, Blake and I, uh, <laughs> Blake and I found a fucking book of Call Me By Your Name. I was like, oh, here's the book for the film you don't like. <laughs> did you hear that, boys? He found the fucking book for Call Me By Your Name. What a man. <laughs> it, yeah. it was adapted screenplay, so uh, it's from a book. James <laughs> Ivory, oldest Oscar winner ever, I believe. Yes. That, is, that is correct. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Beautiful boy time. Alright, Let's do it. Andre and Naritu. Let's do this. Bye. <laughs> We're about to drop an album. Uh, <laughs> we just saw Beautiful Boy. Um, Gayest album ever. We got to bounce for a bus real quick, but what do we I think? I go to the train. Um, I liked it. It's great. Yeah. Lucky, what do you think? I, it was great. <laughs> Lockie it hit him pretty hard, he was got, getting some tears going. Yeah, the channel A got me. Um, I liked it, I didn't love it. I think if you shuffle some things around, take some yeah, things out, focus the on the editing, relationship yeah, was... more, you might have a better film. Yeah. Um, but the Lockie acting was settled. really solid, the you editing was a bit... Hey. Um, but yeah, I did really like it. Uh, Carell and Chalamet were great. Yeah, no, I thought it was really great. Uh... The acting was, was fucking solid all around. Yeah, I loved it. I'm gonna give it four stars. Um, Chalamet was amazing. Corel was amazing. Uh, I'm probably gonna the give best it four and a half or four. I'll hey, go. I'll go. Big man. Probably a three point five or a four. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, controversial. Big contrarian. Big contrarian. <laughs> but no, I did like it a lot. What up, low gang? Big fellas, how we doing? Uh, it's morning, we fucked, uh, we're gonna go play laser tag with the lads. Yeah, I was about, to, I was supposed to get up an hour ago, but Jacob let me sleep in like a good man. And right. for recompense, he snapchatted me sleeping, so I, I think that's I should have saved a lot of that's I'll get one tomorrow. 
No, I don't know. I don't know if I'll get up earlier than you. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Yeah, we'll see. I'll go for a run tomorrow. Yeah, so, uh, and yeah, so we're doing that, and then we're going to go see At Eternity's Gate later on. Uh, yeah, Big Very Willem. keen. Big Willie Willem. Willem uh, could be another Oscar contender for him coming out of the festival. Looks Not like so it. much the film, but him. It looks like it. We'll see. We'll see. Me and the boys just had a good fucking game of laser tag. Avenger came out champion, but it was a good game. What do you reckon, Blake? You have a good one? Yeah. Yeah, he loved it. Lockie, what do you reckon? Too tired to talk. That's the first. Oh, How it's a good workout. I'm sweating like a pig. Yeah, man. No, it was good shit. And, uh. Go! Uh, we're playing bowling in the moment and all getting destroyed by Jaren because we're all gutter balling it. Yeah, boys! But, uh, Lockie just hit a strike and his reaction was magnificent. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> He's put the bumpers on, so you never know. Oh, who knows? <laughs> Intense. This bowl is for all of you. It's the first uh, lads film together, you know, at home, not in the cinema. Uh, we're about to watch Everybody Wants Some because Lockie has not seen it yet. Are you yeah. excited? And Jacob, yeah. the madman, has actually got it signed by the one, the only Tyler Hoechlin, and that is. Can you see good. that good. shit? Good. Yeah. That is fucking Legend, awesome. man. He's, he's a sweet bloke. Um, yeah, there's the Fable collection there. Uh, yeah, we might yeah. Have, right have you seen Days and Confused, Lockie? Sorry? Days and Confused. It's a film by Ricky Lee. This man's Days and Confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Days yeah. and Confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. No, um, loves the beer. Um, Days and Confused or Everybody Wants Some, Blake? Everybody Wants Some. Everybody Wants Some. We were just talking about it before. Everybody Wants Some. I too am. Really? Yeah. I thought you nah, would I've like Days and Confused. Nah, I flipped on it. Last time I watched oh, Everybody Wants Some. Oh, Bloody great film. So Lucky, I... what do you prefer? What? <laughs> <laughs> Just watched Everybody Wants Some with a big man. Yeah, boy. yeah fucking great movie. What'd you think, Lockie? Uh, I liked it. You liked it? I liked it. He didn't even laugh that much. Oh, you liked it. <laughs> you liked it. Oh, I liked it. Lockie, oh, oh, you liked it. Why oh, you liked it. Lockie, I want a full report on my desk. Annotated, highlighted. Highlighted. Bibliography. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the boys, we're back. Uh, Hello. We're about to see At Eternity's Gate with Big Willem, potential yeah. best actor. Uh, how do we reckon? Oh, uh, Lockie's going to the toilet. We're just quickly filming it while he's gone, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah, we'll get him in. We love you, Lockie. Yep. Um, we'll uh, ADR him in. You guys keen for a bit of, oh, yeah. a bit of Big Willem? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're fucking keen. Yeah. I love a Big Willem. Saw the Florida Project here last year. We so. did at this very festival. Uh, it was very good. Uh, so all of... His nominated performances come from this festival. His home is another movie that he just gets his Oscar stolen by Sam Rockwell. Sam no, Rockwell will be supporting though. For uh, Cheney. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sam Rockwell's playing George Bush, yeah. which is going to be mental. That's going to be awesome. Fuck, yeah. Can yeah. we just talk about that movie? No, we'll uh, Yeah, so Vice, <laughs> uh, it was originally titled Backseat. I kind of preferred the title Backseat a um, little bit. Uh, just, I think it's it's subtler, you know? Yeah, to, Vice you know, just sounds like a tool. Vice is like, yeah, it could be anything. Backseat, sounds like the it's a little more Vice, mysterious. And it's like, it just it implies that theme that he's controlling everything from behind, you know? Because Bush was just an idiot. From the backseat. Go away, <laughs> go away, I'm reading Super Fudge. <laughs> My man, buddy. Mm -hmm. Hello, we just saw At Attorney's Gate. I'm just gonna film this vlog in the style of that movie, Cinematography. <laughs> Let's go really close to <laughs> Cover half the bottom of the screen for some reason. Um, Lots get of low really, angles. Getting really uh, close. Um, so yeah. Close up to the face. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think of it? 
No, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't like it's it. It's enough for me, dog. <laughs> um, I think it's. I think it's all right. Like. It's not that bad. I know. I know. <laughs> like, pretentious. In terms of other aspects, it's pretentious fine. is an easy criticism, but Terence Malick would call this film wanky. There was a. Uh, there was some stuff uh, I liked. Um, I loved the score. That was my favorite part of it. Yeah, Willem Dafoe was, was amazing. Yeah. Willem is the good, was but good. he doesn't they, deserve this movie. <laughs> Uh, my first JB Hi-Fi trip of the uh, trip of the trip. Hello, How are you going, friends? We've got Big Lockie here with us. How are we doing, mate? Yeah, what good. have you got so far? All oh, the Back to the Future yeah, collection. Yeah, I don't even have a humble mm. yet. We're just fucking on our don't bubble teas. Don't know if there's anything here I'll buy, but we'll yeah. see. see yeah, what that's fair. You've already been here and bought some stuff. Though, bought a couple the other day. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Let's keep having a look. What, what's Jaron got his eye on there? Ooh, yeah. give me yeah. Uh, so I'm getting Daredevil season 2. I know my thumb's two. on the camera, is that Eternity's Gate? Yeah, <laughs> 2 for 30 Daredevil season 2. And I'll probably get that with A Quiet Place. I almost bought this in 2 for 50 a sanity, I'm lucky I didn't. Mm. Um, and then in the maybe pile, we can find another one, Jumanji, because I really like this movie. Did you look at that wall over there, up the front? They got it, they call me by your name and shit like that. We'll go, wall. Yeah, we'll go to the wall. Also, we got kind of got cut off before we finished talking about Out Eternity's Gate, but uh, no, we didn't really like it. Yeah, not for me. Yeah. Let's have a look at some more movies. Uh, this is uh, this is where we feel at home. This, this is, is life, you know. Fuck yeah. Um, I Jacob. spent so much on Blu-rays earlier in the year that I've kind of toned it down at the moment. But, uh... Funny you should say this is life. Jacob wants to buy the Blu-ray life, but he doesn't know if he owns it or not. I have that life. many Blu-rays at this point that I can't remember which ones I have. And which ones. There's a, multiple. I bought Eddie the Eagle twice by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to Blake. Um, once, oh once I bought Gran Torino twice by accident and had to return it. It's just Gran Torino. Nice. Good film, good it film. Is very I don't own it twice. Dude, I bought it twice before I'd even watched it. <laughs> yeah, we're at the new release section. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip that. Action point. Get that at some point. When it's not fine. 30 bucks. Upgrade also we'd Ooh. like to get. Yeah, also, film. they didn't release this on Blu-ray in Australia and I'm so upset because it's a great movie. Good film, good film. Great. Uh, film. Yes. Um, no, thank you. Uh, maybe um, at some point. So I do want to get point. Hitman Day of the Soldier at some point. So you're by yourself. Hmm, I'll call you Han Solo! <laughs> Get it? Because he's alone! <laughs> I call this the Locky section. <laughs> 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 Hello friends, we just saw A Star Is Born, what did we think? Loved it, great uh, film. Yeah. yeah, it was great, uh, I really dug the 95% the, uh, of the songs. Yeah, I was, um, I haven't seen any of the originals, so all of this was basically a surprise to me. Um, yeah, I really liked it. The Craft, Bradley Cooper directed the shit out of it, especially the on-stage scenes. Amazing debut. Scenes. The, the, all the concert scenes were fucking You want to brilliant. clap at the end of the concert yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, you get that feeling. Lady Gaga's brilliant. Um, yeah, she she's was. so fucking good. And so is Bradley Both Cooper. Both of them are headed for Oscar nominations. I don't know. I know Orson Welles and Clint Eastwood have done it. I wonder if uh, Cooper can direct Cooper himself to an acting sure. nomination. Mm. Blake He's, didn't come, but uh, didn't. are you excited for Burning? I am excited for Burning. I'm very excited for, for Burning. Burning. That's what we're about to go see. No, nothing uh, about it. Last one for me in the festival. Yeah, we're going to have to say goodbye to Lucky after this. Yeah, no. His last film. Yeah, I'll be gone after this. Yeah, uh, Jaren's gonna miss me. It's a real shame. Uh, we just saw Burning, um, and unfortunately, this is where we leave you. Yeah. I don't know if I don't know if Jacob will make your departure. He's still in the fucking toilet. Yeah, he <laughs> takes so fucking long to get out of the toilet. And when's your tram come? Uh, the Tom. Yeah, the Tom. Tom the Tom. minutes. Uh, three minutes. You like burning? Uh, I'm gonna start with Blake. What did you think, Lockie? Uh, Let's start with you. Oh, oh, the pressure. You gotta uh, go. You gotta go. What do oh you yes, think? Uh, I thought it was uh, decent. Yeah. Uh, what out of five do you reckon? Uh, I think around three and a half. Yeah, interesting. Awesome. What do you think, Blake? Yeah, I really liked it too, but I'm probably gonna give it a bit of a, a low four. But um, yeah, I reckon it'll probably get better on a. I'll yeah, ever I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'd give it a four, maybe even a high four. I really, really dug it. I thought it was a bit long. Yeah, it um, was. Steven Yoon was the fucking man. Um, the chick and the main dude were also so good. The cinematography was great, so yeah, it was it a was. score. That's um, one of the things I liked about the film. And also the direction was solid. Yeah. I kind of um, want to see what else he's done with the director. Yeah, same. Mm. Um, 
and fuck what Jacob thinks. So um, goodbye, Lockie. Yeah. We'll miss you. We love yeah. you. And goodbye, uh, sweet prince. The, yeah. the the mascot of the channel will be back eventually. Lockie just left without saying goodbye to me. The mascot of the dog. building yeah, said goodbye he's to gone. me and Blake, and he's yeah. gone. The mascot uh, of the podcast. Yeah. Just uh, for real quick, I really liked burning. Uh, I may have missed some things. I'm not sure if I fully got it, and it, yeah, but I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> it's a lot of amazing shots, and it's one that I'm definitely going to be thinking about and trying to, you know, find more information about. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and like we were saying, we'd like to see what the director has also done because yeah. it was directed very well. Yeah. So uh, these two are bouncing now. I am going to go see Lean on Pete. I'm gonna have some beers. Yep. <laughs> I am very keen. You keen for the beers? Oh, fuck, it's so keen. You yeah. keen for... Uh, Homework? Yep. 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 All right, it's been a good day. Hello, friends. Uh, I just... Jaren just had some beers, and I saw Lean on Pete. I actually um, had Jack's, but... Uh, I think he had a better time than I did, and I don't mean as in it's not a good movie. I mean, it's aggressively sad, but I fucking loved it. It is fantastic. Yeah, and it's, um, burning? Yeet. He's putting Lean it on, on a bit. <laughs> Lean on yeet. Um, He's putting it on a bit, it was yeah. A good, it was a good one. Um, yeah, burning... So we're still gonna have to think about that a bit, but um, Lennon Pete is very good. It's a lot more than a boy and his horse movie, and uh, it's I don't know to say more would be a spoiler, but it's, yeah, it's basically a boy and his horse, and very well done, and its emotions, and, and it's Manchester by the runs. Sea, but with a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't wrong. How's it going, Brad? Hello. So we've got a free day today, so we're gonna go kick the footy ball. Fuck yeah. yeah. For all our American fans. Yep. It is the real the real sport. Yeah, this the is uh sport. this is football. The real so. football. Uh Blake told us this oval was like right next to his house, but we've been walking for 15 minutes and it's not inside. <laughs> so right? it's so we're like, oh we will leave the car if yeah, it's like sure, right mate. next to your house. Did, did you see an oval? Because I fucking don't. Yeah, is that your fucking oval? Yeah, that paddock there. Are we going this way? Or? No, oh, straight ahead. Oh, Alright, cool. <laughs> it's literally, you'll see it. Um, this may turn into a Man vs Wild episode pretty soon. Yeah, who knows. He's got it. Oh, yes! That's it! Oh, that's the sealer! It's good. The doggies are down by five. Ah! Oh, the doggies have avoided the spoon. They've done it. They've avoided the spoon. They've done it. To win the game. It's no good. Good hit out with the footy lads. Um, Blake's decision to make his walk was not good as it is now raining. Oh. Might be. How'd we go boys? How'd the, how'd the kick go? Uh, we played around the world. I couldn't get off the first one. I missed by probably less than a meter on most of my kicks. It's bullshit. <laughs> Hate this game. Jaren flogged us. Sure as he does in all things. I'm sure I did. I'm <laughs> sure I did. Yeah, yeah, it was. Hey, I didn't flog oh, us in air hockey. Yeah. That was this man. Yeah, um, I'm the undisputed king of air hockey and nothing else in life. <laughs> I'm the undisputed psycho. No, at we're, air we're, hockey. A, we're undisputed um, tag team laser tag. Uh, yes, that is true. And we're the undisputed we showdown champion. Loki's the accuracy yeah. king of laser tag, though. Hey, and I was the just king of laser tag. So, yeah, to all around. today, boys, we're going to watch Step Brothers. Um, Maybe Anchorman 2. We know? watch it every time we get together. Yeah, if we have time. We cause... might get Blake to watch Hereditary if we have time. Hey, because today's a free day. No, no movies on at the fest. There is, but we're not going to them. Yeah, well, there's nothing <laughs> interesting on today. Yeah, anyway, on, onward and upward. Cause I never knew why You might have faked this kid I never knew why You might have faked this kid I never knew why Get him to slip this wrist I never knew why Get him to hit this bitch Hello! We're back from playing footy. Um, we're about to watch one of the best movies of all time. Legit. Um, we watch this every time we get together. It's a d tradition. He's Nighthawk. I'm Dragon. Blake's... Blake? Derek. Blake's Derek. Derek. Yep. <laughs> he wishes he was Derek. Can you sing high like this? Oh, I can sing high, high, high. Yeah, very, very excited. Yeah, let's get fucking keen. All we're doing today is watching this. We're going to try and get this one to watch Hereditary, our Step Brothers. Yeah, Eggs, Bacon, Sangy. Um... 
I got me milk. Fucking using my clockwork orange mug. Ah, bullshit. Let's do this. It's okay that Mike's our movie quality. It's a bunch of movie quality ones now. Fucking. Probably the best comedy ever made. Yeah, oh, jokes. Very good. I, my, hand, my hand isn't long enough to get us all in right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the boys. What a fucking, what a ride. Yeah, it's probably the best of the festival so far. I'll probably give it like a yeah. four out of five. A five. Five. Yeah, it's it got to be a five. You fucking, we were quoting every line before it came <laughs> no, up. No, so. If, if you don't give it a five, you're basically. Oh, good. yes. Big gun. Chris Cardo. Stop Loves the John Woo. Lads, there's one thing I forgot to ask you before we finish this review. Do you like guacamole? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, favorite non-pornographic magazine to masturbate to? Good housekeeping. Ah, best dinosaur. Uh, Velociraptor. Oh shit. Uh, if you were a girl, who's the first guy you'd sleep with? John Stamos. Fuck. They're too good. Yeah. That's it. That works better to fit us in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much it for today. We'll probably watch another movie in a bit. Um. Hey, fucking uh, the classic year seven. Not cool. Hello, uh, this is an important first time watch for me. We're about to watch That's My Boy. Yeah. Uh, Big Braden's still in the background. How are we, guys? Getting himself some liquid refreshment. Yeah, uh, Daredevil season three wouldn't load properly, so we've um, resorted to That's My Boy, which I maintain is. Um, I think it's good. It's not a great film, but I really like it. I laugh a lot. All my friends said the same. Jacob, um, we'll see how he finds it. I'll give it a crack. Like and it. we also I don't watch, think you'll like it, but we also watched I love Hot it. Rod before with some friends, and that was a good time. How good Hot Rod's fucking awesome. Man. I didn't like it that much first, but solidly improved. It's so time. good. Got to watch with friends. It's yeah, hilarious. Boys. Um, all right, we'll be back with his. That's my boy thoughts. It's going to be funny. Uh, Jaron, if kissing your sister's illegal, I demand a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> fucking will. What's fucking. Chris Parnell. Oh, what a, what a gun. All right, let's do this. Children of Film, lads. Uh, we just finished That's My Boy. I still really like that movie. Jacob liked it too, actually, I think. It's all red, and you can hear that music. That's because I'm starting Daredevil. Jacob's gone to sleep, little bitch, and um, I'm too excited. I have to fucking start this. Drew Goddard um, is my baby, and I'm so fucking excited. Let's get this on. Fuck yeah, Daredevil! Hello, uh, I watched Diamantino earlier today, forgot to make a clip for it, but uh, it's been a pretty uneventful day. Uh, Jaron stayed up all night watching Daredevil last night, so he's a bit out of commission. Uh, so it's been a pretty quiet one. Uh, but as for Diamantino, I really, really enjoyed it. It's this Portuguese movie about this soccer star who ends up, you know, retiring, becoming... Ugh, how do you describe it? There's, there's giant fluffy puppies... Um, the Portuguese Secret Service are spying on him, um, it's, someone tries to clone him, it's, it's crazy, um, and, you know, it has a lot to say about, um, the world at the moment, and about politics, especially in Europe, uh, and it's very, very sweet, it's a very sweet movie, and Diamantino is an airhead, like, he's really dumb, but he's such a sweet character, and, uh, yeah, I wasn't entirely on board, but I really, really enjoyed it. Jaron is currently watching Roma as we speak, so I'm really excited to see what he thinks of that. Uh, and then tomorrow we're seeing three more movies, and then that'll be it for the festival. Tomorrow we've got Leave No Trace, uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me, and Ghost Stories. So it should be a good one. Excited to hear what Jaron thinks of Roma. Hey Jaron, what did you think of Roma last night? It was very good, quite sad, quite um... It's a big sad. It was uh, it's a tough watch, but really enjoyed it. Yes, same. So today's our last day, we are seeing Leave No Trace. Can you ever forgive me? Are you coming to Ghost Stories? Fuck yeah. And Ghost Stories, and that'll be the last one of the festival. Yeah, we're So, uh, last day, bit. we'll make it count. We've done the buttons up, because we're going to the, ga the gala screening. The gala so. screening of Can You Ever Forgive Me, so let's bruise up. Uh, I love my, uh, you know, reasonably nicely dressed, couple with the <laughs> fucking sports backpack. I'll go hard. Hey, he does, he does. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day.
watching Jaron attempt to put on a tie. Hey man, it'll stop, so now I'm gonna have to do it from scratch, right? <laughs> He needs to spruce up for the gala screen. It's a gala, yeah. man. I'm not going in. <laughs> Without a tie. He's been at this for about two minutes now. Yeah, well, I had it already done up in my bag and it just got twisted and I couldn't untwist it, so I figure Unlucky. I might as well just do it from scratch, you know. Anyway, what do you think of Leave No Trace? That's too short. <laughs> yeah. No, I um, loved Leave No Trace. It's the best film I've seen here so far. Yeah. I liked it more than Roma. It might be the first film I give a four and a half out of five. What yes, do you think of it? I really liked it as well. Um, not quite as much as you, but it's, I would also say it's one of the best of the fest so far. And Ben Foster and Thomas and Mackenzie are fantastic, and I can't wait to see Thomason's career blow up. Yeah, and yeah. I'm still waiting for Ben Foster's to blow up. Like he's, he's, so he's a well-loved actor, but come on, give the man some lead roles. He's so good, man. He needs more. He needs more. But um, we're off to the gala of. Uh, can you ever forgive me? How's the tie going? Yeah, good. Now I'm just worried about the buttons. Sweet. But, um, but I'm good. I'm so excited for this. Love, love me. Any time a comedian does a dramatic performance, it's a just, it's just yeah. satisfying, you know. And um, Melissa I mean, McCarthy, we've seen, we've seen her do it before, but still, she could be two-time Oscar nominee here. You so never know. Nice. And she was actually nominated for one of her comedic roles. Um, bridesmaids. Bridesmaids. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Onward and upward. The events have been ephemeral, but the impact leaves a streak across the sky. Our hearts are with you. Um, none of us can do this job without our friends and family, so I thank Amanda Blair and Michael Parkinson for the refuge and the uncontrolled delight that you and your family bring from my very first day here in Radelaide. Hello, we just saw Can You Ever Forgive Me and it was just wonderful, it yeah, was a it treat. Was, uh, I fucking loved it, it was really um, just enjoyable and it's funny it's enjoyable because it's about a criminal but um, yeah, no, but, uh you know it's it. one of those lovable criminals. Yeah, just it's, yeah and right and it's, you feel really sympathetic for her in the end and you understand her motivations, why she did it and it's yeah, Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy is so, so damn good in it. Charming as hell, uh, Richard E. Grant is fantastic. Um, the screenplay is just so witty, I enjoyed it. It never got um, too heavy and when it did it was always balanced out or it worked really well and she's yeah. so good They both were great both uh, probably looking at some awards nominations. Yeah, and this yeah. guy loves cats So that would have appealed to you a lot. I like cats. Hey, cats are good. <laughs> more more of a dog person, but love cats. Oh, yeah, what about yeah. Shape of Water? Your first experience with <laughs> that? I just don't like animals being hurt in general. Yeah, right. It's sad. Yeah, great film. Uh, um, yes. And now we're great. off to Ghost Stories. Ghost Stories, mm -hmm. capping off the festival, should be awesome. Very keen, bit of Martin Freeman action, yeah. bit of British horror action. We just got want. invited to the after party by one of the fest runners. So we'll I think the gala screening comes with an invite, but I'll yeah, check it out. Something to do. Come on. Yeah, well, alright. We'll see you after Ghost Stories. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we just saw Ghost Stories. What'd you think of it, Jaren? Oh, that was a blast, man. It was so fucking funny. Um, really well made. Actually pretty spooky in parts. Yeah. When yeah. it wasn't being funny. Yeah, pretty <laughs> spooky. Um, great jump scares. Yes, um, uh, they weren't. A fan of them, but yeah, they, were they weren't entirely telegraphed. So a lot of them you didn't see coming. This, they, a few of them got this man. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. One, I'm scared easily. One woman behind us shrieked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it was really creative, inventive. I like the way it went. It's not your typical horror movie. I'd really suggest checking this out, um, especially if you're a horror fan. It's quite cool. Yeah, um, I had a blast. Goes, with the Martin Freeman's and great. The Alex Lawford is great. So good. Yeah, the kid from uh, Imitation Game. Who's that? Is that? Uh, Alex Lawford. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking. He's fantastic. a gun. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the festival, done and dusted. Not on next year, so we've got to wait another two years. Yeah. I'll probably go to Perth next year and have some sort of catch up. Does Perth have a well, film go. festival? Uh, no. No? no? Come on man, lift yeah, your game. Yeah, I know, I know, Let's I know, just go to Brisbane for the Brisbane Film Probably Festival nice next year. Pieces of shit, you wanna play it? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hey. I know, they gave us cards for uh, free drinks yeah. at the pub down the road and then we go there and they're like, ah, oh, it's closed. Yeah, they're like, oh, come celebrate with us after party. Free drink cards. We I mean, I didn't... Sorry, the bar's closed. I don't even drink it, I'm mad about that. I'm fucking bull... This is fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> Goodbye, uh, Film Festival. <laughs> um, but yeah. That's it for it. Uh, there's a couple last chance screenings next week that I might hit. I don't know. But this man flies off next week. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow night. night so we're just going to hang out, probably watch a few films. Uh, but it's almost time to say goodbye. We'll catch you then. Like in three seconds. But yeah, it's been great. <laughs> Ha <laughs>
I'm currently being roasted for saying hereditary is not scary all the oh, time. But lads, it's not yeah. scary. No, I'm fucking. I'm kidding. We are watching Hereditary, and this is a special day because we're making Blake watch it, and he does not watch horror movies like at all ever. Like he's terrified of them. But it's not scary. I thought. I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I didn't. Yeah. I didn't think it was. It's great. It's too tough. Yeah. Is Blake gonna? Be spook? No, we're watching it in the daylight. It's like a fucking oval out here. Yeah, but it's Blake. He's never watched a horror movie. No. I haven't watched a couple <laughs> of horror movies. I didn't enjoy it. You saw it's not in the middle with I... us on the couch. It's not something Come I Come sit enjoy. with us. He's afraid we're gonna like grab him and you spook will. him. I know you will. Fucking, um, also. I can do it anyways. You, you don't, don't even, you don't even to have to, you don't even have to do it like when we're watching a movie. Just do it in general. Hey. Also, um, we're, uh, we just watched The Night Comes For Us, which is the new Indonesian action movie by oh, the guy on. who made a headshot with, shut the fuck mm. up, with Iko Uwais and Joe Taslam and shit, and it was fucking sick. Like, the violence is just, yeah, the, the whole time we're just like, oh! Were, it was, it was fucking brutal, yeah. That actor I may actually be dead. Yeah, that's yeah. the genre, yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, hereditary time. Blake, what did you think of hereditary? It's good. It's good. It's good. See, it wasn't that bad. Like Jacob said, it wasn't that scary. No, I mean, like, you should be able to watch horror movies now. Like, come see Halloween, fucking, you gotta watch The Conjurings. It's a whole new world is gonna open to you. Just because I liked one doesn't mean I like them all. You know, that's the. That's, yeah, that's yes, just film in general, man. That's just film in general, man. Just because you like one action movie doesn't mean you like them all, but you should still give them a chance. It means you are no longer afraid. Fuck's sake. It's very different to uh, watching a good horror film in a cinema and then watching one on a 50 inch telly in broad daylight, but you know. Yeah, you know, with the boys though. It's a sad moment that Jaron and Blake have to say goodbye. I'll see him tomorrow, but I'll still miss you, Blake. Yeah. That's if you actually show up for class tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, probably. Well, I'll have to come for our meeting. Uh, yes. Goodbye, my, my friend. You have been the one. You have been the one for me. It is time now to say goodbye. I'm about to drop this fella off at the airport. Uh, if we don't get to do a video by then, it's it's been real. Oh, it's been real, it's been man. Real Thanks for having up. me. Thanks for having me, mate. We had a good Adelaide. time. Thanks for watching. If you've uh, made it this far, mm -hmm. he'll be back haven't. in Adelaide in April. So we might nothing major, but you know, get together. And yeah, do we'll something, see how it goes. Yeah, make a little video. We didn't get to do our commentary, mainly because we didn't want to rewatch the snow. And I didn't want to buy it. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, fuck it. that shit. Alright, yeah, uh, right. thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is potentially the end, unless I go to one of the last chance friends, we'll see. But, um, yeah, peace out. All right. uh, I love film, Jaren loves children. Thanks for having me, children, film. I love you.